You know when you forget you've actually got to put the sliders up yes. so that people can hear you? <laughs> That's me, that is. Good evening. It's Wednesday. It's 8 o'clock, which must mean it's time for... The Moo Camp Radio Show. The MK Don's radio show that thinks that this championship lark is easy. Six points from nine is going up at the end of the season kind of form, and we can't see anything that could possibly go wrong between now and then. Or as Dan wanted to call this one, this is the show that is 43 weeks from the playoffs. 43 games from the playoffs. 43 games from the playoffs. All right, that's fair enough, yeah. Okay, um, well, look, uh, yes, thanks for joining. To kick us off this evening, I'm rather delighted. It, actually, this is one of Modders' musical choices, so... Um, oh, God I, Go and make a cup of tea. It's better than usual stuff, but it'll keep us going for a few minutes. We'll talk to you in a little bit, all right? This is, uh, this is White Lies with To Lose My Life. He said to lose my life or lose my one is interesting I think I've got a little two second clip but this thing tells me it's a zero second clip and guess who was right it was a zero second clip but didn't play any noise whatsoever uh, good evening you are listening to the Mucam radio show here on Seclo Sounds I'm probably a little loud so I'll turn myself down um, yes we're the MK Don's radio show that love joining in with a Preston North End chant of Wimbledon, Wimbledon, Wimbledon outside Asda after the game and took great delight in thanking them very loudly for their money. I'm Brando, the man who was predicting that we'd lose to Bolton until about 10 minutes before kickoff. 
when I had to retract such a heinous statement and allow ridiculously misplaced but rather fortuitous overconfidence to take centre stage once more. As you know, Modders is currently in quarantine, attempting to get veterinary clearance to allow him to return both, both to the country and to the show, so we're doing our best to keep going without him, though as you can probably tell, it's been difficult. We are not joined by young Albie. We'd like to send him, him our best wishes because we believe he's uh, currently in A&E waiting to get his poorly hurty foot. Welcome to Hospital Radio. Welcome to Hospital Radio indeed, yeah. Uh, but, to my left, I'm delighted to see the man for whom the show is simply an excuse to get away from all the pets around him, when he, the, the pets that surround him when he's at his palatial path. Say hi, Jess. Evening. And our AFC modders this week is the same AFC modders that we had the week before last, but not the same AFC modders that we had last week. Say hi, Lieutenant Dan. No. Fair enough. No. Okay, well, look, just like our wingers, when you're suggesting that they stick some low balls into the box, what you think is important to us. So, Dan, can you please tell the moos and muets how they can get in touch with us, please? Right, you can contact us by asking your board to write the most hypocritical complaint letter since delicate flower and sunlight blocker himself, Steve Evans, complained that his next door neighbour's tree was blocking his light. Or alternatively, you can use the usual conventional methods, yada, 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 yada. Uh, you can contact us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash the Camp. Tweet us using hashtag the Camp during the show. Email us at radio at moocamp.com. Text 80085, but remember to start your message with sombrero, fat brero more like, or else it won't reach us, obviously. Or, as usual, you can text direct to the studio on 07848 930 396. That's 07848 930 396. Oh, hello. And this is still set close hand. It's going well, this, isn't it? This is fantastic. <laughs> oh, rehearsal, rehearsal, rehearsal. That's a clash. Only clash fans would get. Uh, anyway, what's coming up? I'm asking myself. Well, there'll be loads of me this week, so that's a treat for you ladies right there. Evening, we'll be Paul. talking about the disappointing defeat at home to Preston, but we'll balance that with our views on last night's fantastic victory against Neil Lennon, that other idiot in Bolton. That's not the last time you may hear that. We may hear the evening. idiot yeah, conversation a, a few times this evening. <laughs> Aye, bloody idiot. How are you ginger ear now? Anyway, we'll catch up with Upper Tourgate and look forward to the next couple of matches against the Mighty Reading and Cardiff. That plus usual stuff we've got to usually actually be bothered and I'm not reading this I'm doing worse than you. Anyway, on a scale of you, you one to ten... You got away with it though. No yeah, one noticed no there was a problem. That, nah. On yeah. a scale of one to ten I'm giving that one. A one? That's fair enough, okay. That was a Chris Evans thing in his early radio days. He used to do marks out of one. Oh, really? Oh, I thought you meant get nearly eight minutes in the show before you've actually done anything. No, nah, eight minutes before we mentioned Man United. That's oh, we're on two nil. Four nil. What was the score? I can't remember. Did we play them? Imagine a 2 0 and then another 2 0. 2 2 0s? Yes. It's a game of two halves. It was stereo. 2 2 0. It was Desmond nil. St- <laughs> Desmond nil. Yes, that's fair enough. Um, I can stop this thing that's been going for far too long. Let's just get rid of that. Particularly as it was the wrong music in the first place. Uh, you probably wouldn't realise this, but there are many different Moo Camp bits of music, and that was the wrong one. Or a different one. Let's try. Now, we'll come back to that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Eight and a half minutes, still haven't done anything. What <laughs> are you just grinning at? Nothing. Uh, is anyone going to do that bit then? I'll do it. That's just then. Following the most ridiculous formal and public complaint that MK Dons have ever received, and you can imagine <laughs> that has seen something, <laughs> the MK Dons have made a formal response to the Board of Latent Orient. The response published on mkdons.com reads the following. Sit down or we'll steal your club. More on this once we've been able to ungast our flabbers at the audacity of it all. Please say the word flabbers again, that lovely Scottish accent. Flabbers. <laughs> flabbers. Oh, we've heard this before. Yes. Again. Again. It is indeed, again, the, the, the time again for the question again of the week again. And uh, yes, the, the question of the week this week was simple. If we finish outside of the top six this season, what should Robbo's punishment be? And we've had a number of different ones. We'll chuck out some, some more. Here I've got Camden Paul tweeted that he won't be able to use the word unique for a month, which will be quite difficult for him. Uh, Paul Harris, first time listener, says having to convince people that he really likes roundabouts and trees. A Lieutenant Dan of this parish says he has to sing whatever we tell him to, given that he thinks he can do it to us. You're not going to let that I'm go, I'm still angry you? about that. He's I think so. Man. Yeah, the angry man. Angry Dan. Angry, angry Dan, Dan man. The man called Dan is angry. Angry Dan. Beard Hides Boy 64 says to be banned from using superlatives. He could never cope with that. 
Um, Paul Harris, first time listener, says make him appear on Football League tonight every other week, which will be wonderfully cruel. Adebayo Akinfenwa says no more cake. Uh, Bongo Don says if Steve Evans had to wear a sombrero, then KR should wear a curly wig and a tash. <laughs> Paul Harris says serve in the club shop. Ooh. Young Albie says he should be forced to buy a striker as punishment. That'll learn him. Uh, Family MK Don's fan says attend an ESOL course. That's English for speakers of other languages. <laughs> um, Johnny says, be forced to be a guest on your show. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of nice. Yeah. Old Farms Don says he should make a cameo performance as one of the ugly sisters in pantomime at the MK Theatre during Christmas 2016 season for one night only, mind. And Brian Allen Ames says, maybe a one-year contract extension. And Paul Harris, first-time listener, says, stand outside gate six and shout, programs, golden goal. And this is the point at which I realised what I should have been doing while that was playing um, was actually playing something underneath it. Let me see if I can just get this going. Uh, we actually had this sent in by, by uh, a first-time listener, Paul Harris, earlier on this week, which I think is quite stunning. Because, I'm uh, if you get a chance by next week, can we have the It's a Rollover remix? We need to have this underneath something when we're going on. Paul, fantastic piece of work. Uh, I'm going to click. <laughs> I think I like that. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, just that's... put this on, uh, on loop and laugh at it. For, if for there was minutes. ever a challenge thrown down, there it is. I'm going to bet on that. I'm telling you, you know I am. That, actually, that would be a, yeah. Okay, your challenge is to record Trevor and put something, yeah. Put something but underneath it. The gauntlet has been thrown. Done Beat this. We will find a prize. <laughs> yes. You mean not just the usual pretend we give people badges? It may be a CD or taken off the back of the front of a music magazine. Back of the front of a music magazine. Yes, that's, that's how good. That's how good this is. Okay, yeah, well, anyway, thank you for that, Paul. Really, really impressed, you disturbingly strange man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's white, yellow and red and couldn't begin to give the faintest vest, vegetages, vegetages, vegetables. <laughs> vegetables of a toss over any complaint from latent so-called Orient? We don't know. You have to join in this bit, Dan. We, we don't, don't know. know. What's white, yellow, yellow and red, red and couldn't begin red. to give the faintest vegetables of a toss over any complaint from late and so-called Orient? The Milton Keynes Dons. He's very right, you know. Uh, OK, we must have text and things flying in by this Ooh, point of view. Hang on a minute, that's me, isn't it? That speaks to some Ooh, too here. loud. Hang on a minute. Go, go. Hang on a minute. Yeah, I've got Talk one here. Right, we're in. Colin Butler tweets at Leighton Orient FC, how can you moan about MK Dons when you offer this and he's included a picture of their lovely seats, which kind of says it all, but not really on the wireless, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Albert Lacuta tweets, can't believe MK Dons are willingly going to play a team whose owner ripped out the tradition by changing <laughs> colours in a <the> badge <laughs> disgrace. That very good, son. Uh, <laughs> get well soon. Chris Reed tweets, uh, Dear Cardiff supporters, you will be in the corner of the upper tier. Please do not complain. Sarah Bird tweets, £10, an unobstructed view, three skins, padded seats and plenty of clean toilets. Oh, that's nice. Spurs fan Cat tweets, You'll imagine my reaction when I walked into the Premier League group meeting the other week and was called MK Cat. I love that. The, 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 the franchise stain is spreading it to is. Spurs fans already. This is kind of sweet. I'd like to meet her. I think we should oh, arrange that. She's a woman. That. I'm assuming you would like to meet her. <laughs> Um, the only one, just just a very quick one here. But um, Robert Lewis earlier on said Robert Lewis Stevenson. He's written some books. He has actually on yeah. Ireland. He's Sin a help. treasure. Yeah. <laughs> um, he said, I, I, "I think I know what this means." But he says Wednesdays are newish. Insert regularly enjoyable day with the Moo Camp here to put a brightener on an otherwise forgettable calendar day. I think it's kind of Wednesdays are the new Friday. Oh, it sounds like he's trying to answer 25 down in the Times cryptic crossword. That could be it as well. From about yeah. last March. The weather is good in Moscow this year, we understand. Aubergine. Exactly. OK, um, who I'm supposed to be doing something. It's probably this, just to make Dan happy, because this is his favourite part of the entire show. Dan, dance now! Listen to the Sticks Radio Show with me, Terry Sullivan, here on Seco Sounds, every Monday from 10am with guests from the world of entertainment and sport across hearts, beds and bucks. 
Tactics Radio.